If you download pictures from the internet to use in your presentations or videos, and you want to erase the background but you don't want to spend hundreds on Photoshop or some other editing software, stick around and I'll show you how. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today is quite a different style of video that you're used to seeing from me, but here's a quick tip that I thought would be very useful for you. Now I make a lot of product comparison videos and often I get pictures off the internet to put into those videos, but sometimes they come with a background that I want to get rid of. And I found a very simple way to do it on your Mac without having to get any additional software like Photoshop or anything fancy like that. You can do it really quickly and easily on the Mac. So let's give you a couple of examples. I've opened up Chrome and I've done a Google search for Mavic Mini and there's a whole bunch of different pictures and I found one that I quite like so I'm just going to right click on that and go save image as. I could rename it because I'm a little bit OCD. Mavic Mini um, and I'm just going to save that to my desktop so that's one that we'll work with. And then okay so let's try another one. Let's try Osmo Action. Now this technique works best with plain backgrounds, so I'm just sort of scrolling through looking for something with a relatively plain background. These ones are probably too detailed, not plain enough. Plain white uh, or grey or anything like that works just fine. Ah, here's a good one on the back screen, so let's click on that one. It's a very plain background, so I'll click on that, save images. My action back. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's get rid of that. So let's start with this one here. Um, I'm just going to double click it um, to open it up in preview. Then what you want to do is click on this icon here. It looks like a pen. It brings you up some other sort of basic editing options. And then over here there's one that looks like a wand. So you want to click on that. Then you go down to the, uh, the color that you want to get rid of and you click and hold and drag. Now as you can see at the bottom of the camera, see the more I drag the more of that color it's taking away and it just refines it and refines it and refines it. Now you see part of the camera turning red that means that that's going to be erased as well so you don't want to do that so I'm going to go back slightly and that looks pretty good and what that does is actually select everything in the picture of that color. I'm just going to hit delete. Now in some cases because if we look up here this is a JPEG in some cases it will say you want to convert it to a PNG and the PNG file format helps preserve the transparency. So we'll go convert and that has actually now been um, erased. The other thing I might do is just crop a little bit so I'm going to go do the select tool here. I'm going to select the camera, go back up here to the crop and it's cropped. And so I don't have to press save or anything like that, it's automatically saved and we will now shut it. Now just to show you how it's worked, I tend to use these sorts of photos to put them into Final Cut Pro videos and I just want the item, I don't want to see any of the background. I haven't got Final Cut Pro open for this example but what I have done is got a PowerPoint and I've made the background of this PowerPoint slide um, a colour. So now I'm going to go insert picture, picture from file, I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to find that gear DJI Osmo back insert and you can see, I'll resize it, you can see that that background has completely gone, it's just all transparent now which is fantastic, that's exactly what we want. So you'll come across some like this one, let's open up the Mavic Mini that we downloaded, again I'm going to hit this pen icon, I'm going to go over here and select that wand and I'm going to do the same sort of thing, I'm going to click and hold and drag and you can see it progressively drags in more of that colour until I get to the point where I'm pretty happy with that and I'll let go and it's selected all of that colour. I'm going to hit delete once I convert it to a PNG, no problem, and it's done. Now what you will get in some photos, and this is a classic example, is that colour that we erased all has to be sort of joined up, whereas this bit is isolated. But what you can do is you can now select that and do exactly the same thing, click and drag to select that little bit and delete it. So in some photos you might have to do you know, multiple selections and deletions to get rid of those colours. 
I'm just going to shut that now because it's done. Again, let's go to our PowerPoint just to show that it has actually worked. I'm going to delete that photo out. Let me go insert picture and file. Where's my Mavic Mini? Insert. Bang. How good is that? So a super quick and simple way to erase plain backgrounds uh, from photos using your Mac without having to use any other plugins or install any other software. You can now use those assets in presentations, documents, um, video files, whatever it is you're, you know, you're wanting to use it for. You're ready to rock and roll. So there you go guys, a real quick and simple tip. If you found it useful, drop me a like and if you want to see more of this content, hit the subscribe button. Now I'm working on a video to show you how to use the Kia effect with green screens in Final Cut Pro. If I finished it already, the video will be linked here. If not, I'm still working on it, so be sure to hit the red subscribe button below and the bell so you're notified when the video comes out in a few days. Cheers guys.